That's tomorrow, and that is it for us today. And we will leave you with a... I can't do it. We'll do it live. Okay. We'll do it live! Fuck it! Do it live! I can, I'll write it, and we'll do it live! And thing sucks! All you have to do is stay a minute, just take your time, the clock is ticking, so stay, all you have to do is stay. Yeah, 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 back again, that's how I do it, you know what I'm saying, that's how I do it, I love doing it this way, you know what I'm saying, get everybody in, get everybody in, get everybody talking, just chilling on this uh, beautiful day, waiting on the load right quick up here in Wisconsin. Well, what's up, everybody? I am your humble host here, Lockout Men, and welcome back to the Lockout Men podcast show, the show that never stops. I'm going to have to start posting like every day now. I mean, I got I got interviews and people lined up for days, for days. You know what I'm saying? Well, welcome to LOM community to this uh, to this podcast today. If you guys coming in, make sure you hit that like button. Hit that like button. That like works. It's free. If you guys like content like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that all button so you can get all of the content when it comes out. And if you want to support the channel and support me, you know, hook a brother up with some coffee or something like that. It's lunchtime. So you guys could go ahead and get me something to eat. I hope. You know what I'm saying? One of y'all, somebody, hook me up. You know, the Cash App is in the is in the description. Dollar sign lockout men. Today I got for you guys. Let me turn this down so you guys can hear me. Today I got uh got a young man, driver. He wants to come on and uh, chop it up about the about the company that he drives for. Um, <laughs> believe it or not, it, it's a company that I had called maybe about two. What was it, the second season of uh, of Make the Call? I want to think is is it is it the second or I think it's the second season of Make the Call. And I, I made a call to this particular company, but unfortunately, me and the recruiter at the time. Woo, we we got off on 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 a bad feet, bad footing, whatever. I mean, it was it was crazy. You guys, I will probably link that in the description so you guys will go back and uh, check it out. But this young man been there for two years, and uh, he wants to come on and chop it up, chop it up. So say what's up to my man, Big Kev. <laughs> What's going on, bro? Hey, what's going on today? How's it going? I can't call it. I can't call it. Can't call it. Can't call it. Let me uh, send some shout outs right <laughs> quick to let uh, to let the people know who's joining us. Jeremy Grids is in the house. Sean203, Lockout Man F. I mean, FedEx driver in the building. Yes, sir. Sean, we're going to have to we're going to have to get together and chop it up about that, man. We got people that's interested in getting over at FedEx, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, after the after this uh podcast interview, I'll go ahead and uh reach out to you. Chicago BBW, what's up, lockout men? Uh you stay up in the Midwest. <laughs> Don't I know? <laughs> Don't I know? And she said, What's up, big Kev? All right, so let's jump, let's jump right into it, man. Uh this uh particular company you've been rocking out for, Will Trans. Uh they changed up though. They they it used to be what yeah. was Wilson Logistics back in the day? Yes. No, it used to be you had Will Trans and Jim Palmer. And then where here in Springfield it used to be O and S before Will Trans took over O and S side of things. And then over the stuff years been here, then they bought out some uh, got some western regional stuff going on and instead of having all these different companies they're just called Wilson Logistics 
Oh, okay. 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 That's what's up. That's what's up. Um, so two years with the company, man. Give give us uh give us some background about the company because like I said, when I called back in the day, I I pretty much it, it was to be all honest with you, it was a fucked up call. You know, me and the uh me and the uh recruiter really didn't hit it off right. So you know, the little bit of information yeah. that I did get from them oh, really yeah. wasn't really wasn't all that hot. So uh, what I want to know is, is like, you know, what's you know, what's the CPM? What's the culture there like? Uh, how was it going through? Uh, what do you call it? Uh, orientation, all that stuff. Uh what uh what, yeah. what was it what was it for what was it for you the experience for you uh, it was a positive experience i mean i before i came to the road i was working in oil field so we all know how that kind of come to go so looking to go over the road and you know i just reached around and both kind of caught my eye well you know when they first started they started with one truck, kind of funny story, is the owner didn't even drive the truck at the time, so he uh, hired a driver for it, and just basically grew up from there. Mm -hmm. And as far as when he first started or came over with no experience, you know, it's kind of a lengthy process, and it goes solo, but I I think that's kind of a good thing. I get are you are you talking to are are you talking you you talking to you you talking through the headset right? Yes, sir. All right. Yeah, yeah I, I'm talking to the headset. I, I could barely hear you. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Yeah, there you, you go. There, there you go. There you go. Much better. <laughs> okay. Much better. Much better. Uh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. All right. So you say you started off in the in in the oil fields and everything, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, started okay. Uh, you started off in the oil fields and you decided to uh, jump out of the oil fields. Why? What was the reason for you jumping out of the oil fields? I mean, I from what I hear, the oil fields is where uh, the money at. It's it's it, it's one of those it's one of those trades where it's good when it lasts, but you you definitely feel when it's about to hit because. There was two weeks between job sites. So there was a lot of Look, talk, around, talking to the speaker. Know, talking getting, to the speaker. You ain't you yeah. ain't getting paid when you're way way on the frack site. So you go do a frack site for two weeks, and then there ain't nothing to do for a week or so. So you go home for a week. You come back, and I'm not gonna mention the company name, but there's a company That's out right. of Texas, make it clear that kind of came through and um, said, well, we'll do it real way cheaper than all these other companies will. And that changed the rate for all the oil companies that's been out there for a long time, hauling sand and crude and all water. So okay. last, last few years. So basically, when, when, when they talk when when people talk oil fields, um, you wow. you're actually driving. Uh, what what is that tank? It's it's like it's a tanker, but I forget what it's called. But uh, but uh, it's, a, it's, it's pretty it's much frack, it's frack sand, right? Yeah, it's frack sand, it's a pneumatic tanker. Yeah, it's frack a, sand, but yeah, but frack the, sand pneumatic but tanker. The pneumatic is that but the pneumatic's dying off, though, because they found a cheaper way, a more efficient way to get sand. So now they're using sand boxes and hopper boxes. Mm -hmm. All but right. So with right now, so with that, you you decided to uh, jump up, jump up out of there because of uh you know because of on and off but like i said i i thought they said that you know the oil fields is where the money at but i guess it's it's there when it's there and it's not when it's not it's pretty much that's exactly how it is it's, when it's popping it's good if you need, if it's going off you need to make a lot of money real quick it's a good way but once uh 
one, it's not popping real heavy, then you start slowing down. You know, it's pretty much pointless at that All right. point. All right. So, uh, let's, uh, so you, what was, what was your, what was your, um, uh, what was your choice for going with uh Will Trans? I mean, was I mean, what what did they offer you? What was what was talking to the recruiter like for you? Because talking to the recruiter for me was 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 awful. So, what was what was the recruiter? I mean, if you <laughs> want to mention the name or not, but what was the cr- recruiter was like when you was talking to him? I had a recruiter and got her unfortunately. He's not there anymore. Now he's got work some NBA basketball team or some sort. So yeah, he was he was no, uh, he was straight up and honest with everything and pretty easy stream of process. So really pretty much anything everything he told me kinda of happened, so didn't have any surprises. All right, all right. I'm not sure if I'm not sure if everybody in the LOM community could like hear you, but of course when I when I go ahead and edit this up, I can add a little volume to him. <laughs> so so work with us, man. Work with yeah. us. He he's 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 uh you know, he's talking into the speaker, I guess. I, I his he said to me before we got in here that you know his phone don't actually work right without the uh without the headset so just uh just bear with us on that but um but yeah man so so talking so what did he what did he offer you like i mean did he what what did he say to entice you to 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 say okay i'm i'm down and i'm coming up there to to uh to knock it out Yeah, it was pretty entry level at the point. So there you go. That's much better. It was the highest. It was it was highest uh, starting uh, pay out of the companies I was looking at at the time, and um, yeah, and they had benefits, and a lot of them that I was calling didn't have any type of benefits for company drivers, so okay. health insurance and all that stuff. Okay. All right. So now, now you, uh, now you, how, how they get you up there? They got you up there by bus, plane, train, automobile. How, how they yeah. get you up there? Unfortunately, I had to deal with Greyhound experience. <laughs> Man. See, I, you know, all these, all these trucking companies out here, all these billionaires is making all this money from these trucking companies and they, they, they want to bring drivers on. But the only way they they they, they want to bring you on by the crappiest way possible, you know, by a greyhound. I mean, give give me a. What you gonna use that money for the bus ticket? You could just give it to me, and I'll just drive. You know what I'm saying? It make me if you're right. like if you're across the water, exactly. if you're across the water or something like that, like in the Ontario or something like that. Then of course I'm going to be flying. But but yeah, greyhound though. Exactly. I mean, it's it's. it's where where did you where did you come from? Where where is Will Trans uh, located at? I, I, they're located in Springfield, Missouri. I I I came from uh, Amarillo, Texas, where I live out of, and got stuck in Tulsa on the way out here for hours and hours because none of the bunch of drivers decided to walk out and quit. So there was about a hundred. 50, 200 people at the Tulsa Terminal. Luckily, I had a relative nearby, so I just called them up, had me pick me up from Tulsa and take me the rest of the way. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that that, that was a that was a long ass ride, man. That, from 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 yeah from uh from Texas all the way up to Springfield, Missouri. Now, Will Trans pulls Prime Freight. Am I right? Do do they do they pull any other freight yeah. other than Prime? Yeah, they um on their Western fleet they pull dry van freight out west, the Western Eleven states. Um, and that's kind of their own their own trailers and all that. Mm-hmm. All right.
Okay, so yeah. they so so they so you said they would you say they went by a whole bunch of different names like uh I know they was like Jim Palmer, uh Wilson and all like that. So now they're just now they're just known as Will Will Chan Will Trans Logistics, right? Oh, just just Wilson Logistics now. They wait, they're they're known as what now? Right. Well, Wilson Logistics. Oh, so it's Wilson, not Will Tran. Yes, yeah, Wilson Logistics. Oh, okay, okay. Before before they became that, it was you had you know Will Tran, which was the original originating company of it, and then you had all the offsprings like Jim Palmer and all the others. All right, all right. Uh, let's see, Smitty, the one and only. Yo, what's going on, bro? Kevin Taylor, I thought you worked for U.S. Express. I will reimburse your gas money and toll fees if you use your own car for orientation. Not yet. Yeah, I did work for U.S. Express, but like I said, that's what they, that's what these big companies need to do. Like for real, for real. Like if they, if they bring you up to orientation, you know. Putting you on a well right now during the pandemic, I don't think anybody's going on a going on a Greyhound. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, just reimburse me my money for the for the for the rental car and for the and for the fuel. I mean that would be a hell of a lot better than just getting me on a bus that's going to take me like ages to get up there. Especially you you say you from Texas. So going all the way up to Springfield, I mean uh, Springfield, Missouri, hey, shit, that 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 ride felt like claustrophobia right there, <laughs> you know? Um, yeah, it's just easy, easy enough to drop around a car. All right, so during orientation, what what what's, what's orientation like? Uh, you know, I, you probably videos, uh, all sorts of things. How how long was the orientation, and uh, how long was the orientation before you got into a truck? About three four days. You got to do your. They put you know they put in a hotel and you go in first day and a half. You got to do all your paperwork side of things and. Once that's all kind of submitted and all processed, then they have you do about a full day's worth of videos. Once those are complete, then you go out and go out on that third day and do your road test. And then, depending on how many is out there, you'll either get signed truck then or or that or that fourth day, so then you'll be uh, on your own. Will Trans got got some nice trucks though. Uh, they they got some nice KWs. What's what's the uh, what's the amenities in the truck when when you got up in there? Well, we don't have any Kenworths. All we have is the Peterbilt five thirty nines and the uh, Freightliner Cascadias. Okay, I thought that was a Kenworth that they showed on that video. So that was a Peterbilt. They, they had one on uh, at one. Well, wait a minute, a that Kenworth was a Kenworth that I saw. Point. That I saw one of the. That yeah. I saw one of their drivers yeah. in too. So they so they don't have no more Kenworths. Yeah, they had it. They had it. No, no, they they had gotten a couple of them, but they uh, say they weren't going to go with them. Okay, so you so you're in the Peterbilt then. I'm in a Cascadia. Oh, okay, okay, Freightliner Cascadia. All right, what is out? What is outfitted with? Do, do we have a refrigerator? Do we have uh, APU inverter? What 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 we living like in there? Yep. All it, all all the trucks come outfitted with the refrigerator, uh, APUs on the newer the newer ones though, like 2020, 2021. They got the uh, what they call the EPU electric power unit, so it's off the idle. So it's got a set of batteries, and when it needs to charge, the truck turns on and charges the 
the batteries, so you got your cooling, heat, power, all that stuff comes with the inverter. Okay, so okay. You don't have to go out and buy your own. What's the TV? Oh, they got a TV in there? Yeah, it comes with a TV with um, direct, direct TV. I think you got to pay for that if you want that option. Well, other than uh, that, they they have I a TV where you own. could just plug in a fire stick or something like that, right? Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. That's uh, right. Okay, yeah. okay. So this this uh this company looks out for its drivers. Would you would you agree? I mean, you know, as far as being out on the road to be comfortable and everything, they you know they give you like a they give you refrigerator and all that other good stuff inside the truck. Uh, they they look out for their drivers to be comfortable out here, right? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. 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 What about uh? What's 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 the culture like there? What's what's your what's your um? What's what's uh? How how the fleet manager treats you? Uh, that's fleet manager. I got. We get along really good. You know, the biggest thing is communicate with them, and that's pretty much how. Okay. How are you, 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 you fall, you, you falling back from the mic. Fall, fall. <laughs> come come a little communicate closer. Communicate with them and follow through. <laughs> come communicate with them and that's the best way they're going to be able to coordinate with you. Okay. What's the, uh, what what was the well, how many experience how much experience you had before you came up in into that company before you got how long you was driving before you came up into that company I only had the studio for a few months before I came over oh okay okay so you was a brand new driver all right so how much uh yeah. what was what was the CPM that they offered you now you've been there for two years, so of, of course you had a couple of raises. But what was the CPM that that they started you at? And if you want, what, where are you at right now? But what was the CPM that they started you at? Uh, when I started, I was at forty cents a mile. So it was forty and cent a mile. Now I'm at forty. Now I'm at forty-eight. Uh, you. Okay, okay. So you started so two years ago you started at forty cent a mile, right? Yeah. And now two years later you you roll in that forty eight cent a mile. That's that's a significant that's a significant jump, bruh. I mean uh, what what you done to do to accomplish that, man? It's a big it's a safe driver and I think that's the majority of it right there is safe driving. You know, uh, I've been here for two years. I've never had never had an accident. I've had one hard break when I had an idiot and wanted to shoot across five lanes and um, spin out right in front of me. Okay. That's the only, only thing I've had happen. Okay. That's what's up. All right, so, so did so, is that like incentives or something like that that they that they give you, uh, that you can accomplish? I mean, so that you can accomplish forty eight cent, or is that just forty eight cent straight out the gate that you get paid every that that you get paid every week for every mile you drive? No, that's yeah, that's that's every mile. Oh, okay, okay, so, okay, not okay. A, a temporary and over whatnot. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So Wilson, w Wilson Logistics, that they call that they go and calling themselves now. What uh? And you've been working out with them for uh, two years. So what um? What else that you can uh tell us about Wilson Logistics? Is that I mean, what would what would be what would be the reason? for somebody to choose Wilson Logistics over over everybody else, in your opinion? Well, they also have someone that doesn't have the CDL 
at all that want to get to the CDO, they have a uh, apprenticeship training program that you come over with the tournament and, and make training and get your CDL. And you're done once you have your CDL in hand, then you go an additional 30,000 miles of training. Before you go solo, make sure you're prepared to be on your own. Okay, 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 okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. Well, Big Kev, I appreciate you coming in, chiming in about uh about Wilson Logistics, man. Or <laughs> I keep saying Wilson, but it's Wilson Logistics now. So instead of it's not called Will Tran, it's not called Jim Parma, it's not called none of that no more. But Will, it's called Wilson Logistics. The only thing, good thing that I can say. Like I honestly say, you know, that was back in season two when I talked to the recruiter there. Um, I'm not sure if he's still there or not, but yeah, the conversation between me and him was not good. Uh, you guys could go back and check that out in season two of uh, Lockout Man Makes the Call. Kevin right here wanted to come on and, uh, you know, give up a little bit of information about uh about Wilson's uh Wilson logistics. Uh you've been there for two years. I'm I'm you know, I I I am I am shell shocked that you jumped from uh forty cent a mile to forty eight cent a mile in less I mean in two years. That's that's uh that's a nice little feat there, bruh. All right, man. Well uh again, thank you for coming on. And uh, sharing your uh, experience with uh, with us, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. If, if if you guys want to come on and share your experience or share where you work at, you can do that. Hit me up in the uh, Gmail. That's locked out me in podcast at gmail.com or hit me up at hit me up over at instagram where i met my man big kev at if you want to come in and chop it up about uh about the company you work for you know feel free to come on and uh i'll give you the flow i'll give you the flow um if you like content like this don't forget to like subscribe comment share and hit that bell and that all button for more uh, yes and more all right, I got somebody to play me out. So while they playing me out, I want to say what's up to the LOM community for being up in here today. That's Chicago BBW. Uh, let me, I, I got to bring it up. I got to bring you guys up so I can see. Here we go. All right, uh, Jeremy Grid, Sean20203. I'm still looking for you, bro. Still looking for you. Chicago BBW, Shane Poulton. Uh, Jeff Senior, thanks for coming in. Smitty, the one and only, thanks for coming in. And Kevin Taylor for coming in. If you guys want to support the channel, man, or support me and give me something to drink, you can do that. The Cash App is in the description below. Lockout Men, dollar sign, Lockout Men. And on that note, um, I want to say thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And I will come back at you guys with a, another video podcast. You guys take it easy, and I'll come back at y'all later. Peace.